I had a chance to go on a ride along with the municipal snowplow drivers, and what an eye opener it was. I know I don't want to be a snowplow driver, that's for sure. One hand on the wheel, one hand on the joystick to control the plow, while checking your mirrors for your sand and cars trying to pass. This is a job for the skilled and seasoned snowplow drivers, and they don't get enough praise. Don Parsons is one of the supervisors on the road, making sure the plows and people are safe. They should stay back from the snow plows, at least 20 meters back, because our material coming out from the back end or in the middle of the sand is just spraying. I mean, the sprays on the road, if you're too close, you're going to get your chips on the front of your vehicle. And so in the, for the safety part of it, I mean, it's better to stay back. Now what about when you are passing a plow? Those plows are, they're big when you're driving down the road. You shouldn't be ripping by these boys. No, you should make sure you get enough room, enough time. If you're going to pass, uh, we stay within the speed limit. And if you're going to pass, you're going to be speeding anyway. Uh, if you're going to pass, make sure you get enough room, enough clearance, enough sight ahead of you to make sure you could get in. the number one time eater that you guys have when you're out clearing snow? <laughs> Moving vehicles out, out of the way. All right, now how do you guys deal with that? We uh, we have Bala involved with us uh, with tow trucks and in some cases they have to issue tickets in order to get vehicles moved. Uh, if people would understand that if they had their vehicles off the street we could get in there at a timely and out in a timely fashion. When you see a snowplow, stay out of their way. Stay back so you can see their mirrors and the sand coming out of the back doesn't damage your car or truck. This is a powerful machine. Respect it. There's a reason they're on the road. It's to keep you safe. So let the snowplow drivers do their job. It's a tough one, but one that has to be done in Northern Alberta.